Hey what's up guys Droil here back with another Photoshop tutorial and in this video I'm gonna show you how to create this beautiful 3D text effect with all this lighting and texture. So let's get started. So before we start if you are new to 3D and don't know the basic stuff click on this box here so you can see my awesome tutorial on basic stuff and tools of 3D so you can follow along better with this tutorial and to start with first of all I'm gonna type in my text street lovers and for the font I'm using font called Defton stylus and they are not default so if you want to download them they are in the description so type in whatever the text you want and when you are done with your text right click on the text layer and select new 3d extrusion from the layer so it might change your workspace a little bit but don't worry about that and then go back to your layers and select your background layer right click on that and select postcard so it will convert both of this layer into 3d now once you are done with that control click on both of your layers so uh, your both layers are selected then go to your 3d option and select merge 3d layers don't worry about it in 3d once you merge both of the layers you can still have access to both of them separately so not, nothing's gonna hurt you it's all non-destructive and after that your text and the background will look something like this so now I'm gonna select my move tool and go over to this rotation tool and then I'm gonna take my time to adjust this text the way I want so I'm just gonna fast forward it so you can have idea how much time it takes to adjust it So when you think you are satisfied with the proportion and the size of your text and overall background, select the T option that will select your text and then head over to shape presets and there you have different type of bevels. So select any kind of bevel you like and which suits your text. So I am, I am selecting this one and then head over to this third option where you can find different type of counter for the bevels. So in the counter option I am selecting this counter with double curves which will give this unique look to the border of my text and then I will come back to my first option and I will select all of these five layers which are actually the material of my text so to select them select the first one and then shift click select the bottom one and then head over to this option here where, where you can see you have different type of textures so I'm selecting this texture and you can use it too these are the texture I'm using are default with Photoshop CSX extended so you don't have to download anything so I'm selecting this one and then I will head over to my layer zero mesh which is actually my background and after selecting that in that material I'm using this brick wall texture which is also default so as you can see here right now it already looks pretty dope so why not go to 3d and render this thing to see how it looks like so as you can see here after rendering it looks really good but we can make it even better by adding some of the lightings and adjusting the stuff the colors and things so now i'm going to show you the steps for lighting which is actually the most important like really important part of this uh, process which can totally make your image or totally ruin your image so be careful with this as you can see here it can be really difficult to find your lights in this mess so what you have to do is click on this fourth bulb button so that will uh, show you only and only your lights in the scene so first of all go to your infinite light and decrease the intensity a lot so it will make it the image really darker and then change the color to darker gray so it will make it even more darker but don't worry about it we will add a different light to make up for this so create a new point light so as you can see here whole image which is really nicely lightened up and i'm also gonna change the color of the point light to bit yellowish so if you want the code the code is ff9a0 so this way you can make it look like really straight light feeling which we have on the like night times and now turn on the light fall off and select your move tool so it allows you to control how much light you want to spread and how much tighter you want it so decrease it increase it just to make up for your taste and make it look better so all you have to do is now pull your light down 
and you will have the similar effect that I showed you earlier and now as you can see here it is looking exactly like the original one and for the fun I'm gonna actually not cut it and I will fast forward it just to show you how much time it took me and how many tries and different different type of angles to create this thing so I'm just gonna put it on fast forward so you can see how much struggle it takes even I'm making myself tutorial for it for the second time so here it goes So the final image is finally ready and as you can see here it took me a lot of time to adjust it even though I am making a tutorial and I am doing it second time. So if you are a beginner it can be really difficult to deal with 3D in Photoshop since it's very powerful tool. So I hope you learned something and as always if you have any questions I am always there to help you so feel free to ask me in the comments. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and check out other tutorials by Tutorials Junction. So I hope you learned something. Goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.